Wow, time flies! Just like that, it's time for us to embark on the next phase of our journey! We need to head to Natland next. Nivelet called it a nation of dragons, but that description doesn't give us much to go off of. Exactly! Even when Inazuma was completely closed off, we still managed to run into people from there and other nations. Huh. Could it be? That there are no humans in Natland? Yes! Yes! That look of surprise and excitement is perfect! Hold it right there. Now look at the camera. And big smiles on three. Ready? Okay, just make sure you get Paimon's good side. Wait, hang on a minute! What's with the photo shoot, Charlotte? Well, I heard you two were about to leave for the next part of your journey. After everything you did for Fontaine, the Steambird simply had to follow up on a scoop like that. Oh, I have a feeling we're going to be short on material once you're gone. Oh, so you knew we were leaving. We don't need a big send-off. That's not really our thing. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely not your style, but we got to thinking. And, well, a little change never hurt anyone, right? Uh, we? <sighs> All those obstacles we overcame side by side. Oh, feels like it was just yesterday. Don't be a stranger now, partner. If you encounter any troubles along your journey, you need only let us know, no matter the distance between us. Partings are inevitable, of course. But distance makes the heart grow fonder, right? One thing we'll never change, though. We'll always have the memories we made together during this time. Whoa, you're all here! That we will. I'm looking forward to hearing about your future adventures, so make sure to stop by and tell us about them sometime. Well, in light of your impending departure, shall we take a photo together? Ooh, great idea! We even have a professional photographer with us. Charlotte, would you do us the honor? Leave it to me. Just give me a moment to set the camera up. Oh, by the way, you're overthinking the whole Natlan issue, Paimon. Natlan has human inhabitants and its own unique culture, just like Fontaine. It's just that, because of their local customs, the native people choose not to leave. They're not unwelcoming to outsiders, though. People travel there for business and leisure alike, and usually return with nothing but good things to say. Many members of the Spina have visited in the past, too. Well, that's a relief. Hopefully we don't get swept up in any major drama this time. Well, given your experience and skill in that regard, I have no doubt you'll be able to overcome anything that comes your way. Still, I hope you can avoid danger this time around. An uneventful trip might be a nice change of pace. All right, I'm ready. Shall we? Well then, traveler. Bon voyage! Wow! So this is Natlan! So many strange mountains and so many animals Paimon has never seen before! Uh, huh. Doesn't look like there are any cities around here, though. Where should we start? Good idea! Finding people means we can learn information about the local Archon. And once we've met the Archon, we should have a better idea of what to expect during our journey. Well, Paimon hopes this one is easy to get along with. As long as we don't get on their bad side, we should be fine. Come on, let's keep following the road. I'm sorry, Kachina. I know it's not right for us to go back on our ward like this, but Kempoa and I have to do well during this pilgrimage. You can't seem to find other people to join our team, and we don't have time to sit around and wait. But, but if you two leave, I'll be the only one left. We really are sorry, but you still have plenty of chances. You're young, and you bear an ancient name on top of that. We're just ordinary tribal warriors with years of battle under our belt and no glory to show for it. Not to mention the physical toll of all that fighting. We're no longer in our prime. Uh, we barely had a chance last time, remember? 
we can't expect a better result with even fewer people. Pilgrimage registration closes tonight. This is our last chance to switch teams. Well, all right. I guess it is what it is. I just wish I was stronger. I'm nothing compared to the other ancient name bearers. But never mind. Guess this is just par for the course as Uthabiti, huh? I'm sure I'll figure something out. Well, if we do well this time, there's still a spot for you at the victory feast. Yeah, even though we're not participating in the competition together, we're still friends, aren't we? Of course. Anyway, you guys should get going before it's too late. Go form a really strong team, okay? Oh, <sighs> guess I'll have to wait until the next pilgrimage. Looks like that little girl over there was just abandoned. Wonder what happened. Oh, she looks so sad, too. Huh? Oh, gosh, um, I'm fine. <laughs> Don't worry about me. Wait, I haven't seen you around the tribe before. Are you travelers? Yep, we just got to Natland. Oh, welcome, welcome. I'm Kachina, Uthapiti Kachina. Oh, that's something we call an ancient name. It's a tradition we have here in Natlan, although it's kind of complicated to explain. You can think of it like a title for now. If you're here for the pilgrimage of the return of the sacred flame, you'll find out what they mean soon enough. So, this pilgrimage, is that what you were discussing earlier? Oh, yeah! It's a competition we hold every so often, where everyone competes to try and get the highest ranking. The competition receives tons of attention, so if you place highly, you're guaranteed instant acclaim, and you earn the right to take part in the Night Warden Wars. Basically, the winners become heroes, and that's pretty much everyone's goal around here. Sounds like a massive fighting tournament or something. Do you have to be in a team to participate? Well... Due to the sheer number of participants, the pilgrimage is actually divided into two phases. Phase one is a team competition. Usually an ancient name bearer serves as the team captain and leads their team in various battles around Natlin with the goal of capturing sacred flame. Oh, and an ancient name bearer is just someone with one of those titles I mentioned earlier. Someone like me. Once the team competition is over, the participants from the winning teams qualify to take part in individual one-on-one -on -one matches. Yeah, the skill seems pretty huge. Wait a minute. If ancient name bearers lead the teams, that means you must be a team captain. Sure am. Although, I don't exactly have any team members anymore. <laughs> The key to winning is in the strength of the team captain. That's what everyone says, but, uh, the difference in strength between bearers can practically be night and day. So, their decision does make sense. I'd feel the same way if I were in their shoes. All ancient name bearers have to take part. It's our duty. So if no one wants to be on my team, then I'll just go it alone. At worst, I'm looking at a few extra scrapes and scratches. I'm not great at fighting, but I always manage to get back on my feet in no time. Psst, Traveler. Based on the direction of this conversation, Paimon thinks it might be time for us to do our thing. Yep, yep! Time for the next phase of our journey to start for real! Um, what are you guys talking about? Huh? Huh? Uh, sorry, didn't mean to freak out on you. I just... Uh, how should I put this? I really appreciate the offer. That's so unbelievably generous of you. But only people from that one are allowed to take part in the pilgrimage. Oh, Paimon thought we could just join your team and fight our way to the top and then become heroes. It's alright. Really. I... I mean... 
No one's ever offered to join my team before. Really? We're all usually on good terms, but whenever pilgrimage registration rolls around, it feels like everyone starts avoiding me. They don't make eye contact or bring up the pilgrimage. It's like they're afraid I'll ask them to join my team. I probably don't even need to explain the reason. I'm too weak. It's pretty obvious there's nothing to gain from being on my team. That really doesn't matter to you? Oh, don't you worry. The Traveler's strong enough for the three of us. Gods, dragons, giant narwhals. He can give them all a run for their mora. Oh, I get it. You are able to overlook my lack of strength because you're confident in your own skills. That's right. We always try to help people out during our travels. That's what makes a true adventurer. A true adventurer. You guys are really special. You know you're strong, but you don't take yourselves too seriously. That's exactly the kind of person I want to become. You're planning on staying in Natlin for a little while, right? Mind if I try to learn from you while you're here? Learn from us? Yeah, you know, like a disciple or a sidekick. You don't even have to teach me anything. I'll just observe. I promise I won't be in the way. Besides, I can take you to see the sights and introduce you to Natlin in the meantime. What do you think, Traveler? Seems like she really looks up to you. Oh, right. Didn't those people from earlier say the registration period was about to end? You don't need to focus on finding new teammates? Don't worry about it. I wouldn't be able to manage it this close to the deadline anyway. I lose all the time. I'm used to it. Everyone around me is used to it. So it's fine. No one expects anything out of me. But if I manage to learn a thing or two from you, I might just pull off a win next time. <laughs> Thank you! Who would have thought I'd get the chance to meet such impressive adventurers? <laughs> Today must be my lucky day! Well, come with me, you two. I'll show you where I grew up and introduce you to our tribe, the Children of Echoes. Hey, it's Ayo! Come on, over here! Allow me to introduce you. This is Ayo, my Saurian companion, and also an important member of my family. <laughs> He's saying hello. I think he likes you. Saurian? So in that land, you consider Saurians to be part of your family? Of course. Natlan is not only a nation of heroes, but also a nation of Saurians. They occupy an important place in every tribe. Outlanders always seem to think of Ayo as my pet, but that's not the case at all. Ayo and I go on adventures together, but he also has a Saurian family and a place to stay of his own. Sometimes he even brings his entire family over to eat at our house. The children of Echoes have the closest ties to the Tepetlisaurs, which are naturally very friendly to humans. That's how our relationship became what it is today. All Saurians have their own personalities, but I think calling them our companions pretty much sums it up. <laughs> See? Ayo agrees with me. Alright, why don't you go for a stroll while I handle some important business? Don't worry, I'll keep you company once I'm back. No mischief, okay? Or I'm telling your parents. <sighs> oh, <laughs> you're here too! No way! You have a soaring companion too! Oh, what a sweet little thing! I think your friend here will get along with Ayo just fine! Alright, you two go have fun! I've got some important business to handle, and then I'll be right back! No mischief, okay? And you better not go leading your new friend astray, or I'm telling your parents. This is the most cherished and most sacred item in our tribe. It symbolizes the Wyab that protects us and grants us blessings. Wyab? Is that a god of some sort? Sort of. 
We believe the Wyab dwell beneath the earth, while the Pyro Archon hails from above. We hold regular gatherings here, actually. Our chief recounts and interprets dreams relating to our Wyab to decipher its will. The Wyab know the past and can foresee the future. Isn't that extraordinary? Huh. Kachina, what are you doing here? Chief! Oh, let me introduce you. This is Pakal, the chief of our tribe. Chief, these two just arrived in Natlin. They're super accomplished adventurers, and they're letting me stick by them so I can learn a thing or two. <laughs> uh, uh, hello. Kachina is a child of our tribe. Her safety is my responsibility, so I'll just come out and say it. I don't know how you met her, but I'm going to need you to prove your identity. Whoa, 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 whoa! There's no need for that, Chief! They're good people! I can feel it! A feeling isn't going to satisfy your parents, Kachina. How about... Uh, we show you our adventurer handbook! It's where all our previous travels are recorded! Hmm... The people who belong to the Adventurer's Guild are kind of a mixed bag. I'd prefer something more reliable. Hmm. Huh. You're the Traveler, and your Paimon is familiar. Paimon is a guide! Jeez, these rumors are getting out of control. Well, okay, maybe this one's not that bad. It does make you seem super powerful and mysterious, Traveler. Wait... Is there something special about those names? You haven't heard? Nope. Hmm. <laughs> Learn well from him, Kachina. It's unlikely you've ever had a teacher of greater merit. Really? To earn that kind of praise from the chief? You guys must be even stronger than I thought! Apologies for not trusting your word. Oh, don't! worry about it. You were just doing your duty. Well, Kachina's still young, so you can never be too careful. As for you, Kachina, isn't registration about to close? Why haven't you headed out yet? Don't worry, Chief. I told my teammates to go ahead. I'll catch up with them in a bit. I may not be much of a fighter, but I am quick on my feet. <laughs> Kachina's trying not to worry him, huh? I see. Well, I... I hope I wasn't interrupting anything just now. If I did, just tell me where you left off, and I might be able to help with the explanations. Let me think. I told them about the Wyab, so now's the perfect time to dive into ancient names. Good thing you're here, Chief. I don't think I could explain it very well. All right! That word kept popping up in our conversation earlier. So what does it mean exactly? Well, Natlan is a nation of heroes whose valiant deeds are preserved and passed down over time in the form of stories. You can think of an ancient name almost like a label for these stories. By mentioning an ancient name, we remind ourselves of the epic sagas of heroes past. For example... The most famous bear of my ancient name fought in 27 Night Warden Wars. By the time he fought in his last one, he was already over 60 years old. Even though he wasn't quite where he used to be physically speaking, he still managed to achieve top rankings during the pilgrimage. Impressive, right? Ancient names allow us to preserve the stories of the past, but they're also much more than that. Think of an ancient name almost like an heirloom passed down from generation to generation. Do you have your stone on you, Kachina? Of course. Here, take a look. Whoa, that black stone looks so mysterious. It's like there's something shiny inside it. The Wyab decide who is deserving of inheriting an ancient name. Once a successor is selected, the name becomes theirs to bear and their deeds are then preserved within it. As time passes, ancient names come to represent the heroic deeds of more and more bearers, and their value becomes even more profound. In turn, 
the accomplishments preserved within it serve as an inspiration for the next generation of successors. Just like me. <laughs> I'm still not sure why our Wyab chose me of all people. But if I didn't know the stories of all the past heroes, how they never stopped fighting, I probably would have given up a long time ago. Then you're saying the stone doesn't have any actual power? Like it's not going to make Paimon super strong or smart? None at all. And that is precisely how it exercises its unique value. Think of it this way. If you become a hero because the heavens granted you strength, are your triumphs earned or given? Oh, Paimon gets it. If people start to ask those kinds of questions, the stories suddenly become a lot less inspirational. Someone had this to say about ancient names. <clears throat> Our forebearers carved miracles into obsidian rock, yet future bearers looked upon them and saw strength. The miracles of the past become the motivations of the present. The limitations of the past become the breakthroughs of today. That's more or less the gist of it. So there's no rush, Kachina. Many people struggle to understand the Wyab's judgment after receiving an ancient name. As long as you never stop trying to improve your abilities and surpass yourself, your time will come. Thank you, Chief. I'll get it together, just you watch. Well, it's getting late. I've got to get to the Stadium of the Sacred Flame. Oh, uh, right. I'm not sure where you're headed, but mind taking a detour with me? Is that where the pilgrimage is taking place? Yep, and outside of competition season, it's the place where our intertribal gatherings are held. Of course, she's the most important figure in the entire event. Sounds like a plan then, let's go! Well, if the Traveler and Paimon are with you, then I don't need to worry about your safety. Be on your way now. Alright, we're off. See you later, Chief. I got so carried away just now, I didn't consider what would happen if our destinations were different. Luckily, that's not the case. Or, well, I guess we just have to meet up after the tournament. You sure it's okay you didn't tell the Chief about your team? <sighs> chief Pakal's a really nice guy. If he knew the truth, he might even ask to join me. But... He's not as young as he used to be, and he's got some old injuries that still bother him. He's not cut out for any more attempts. He'll find out what really happened when he sees me compete. I'm sure I'll get an earful for lying, but this is for the best. Yeah, your teammates left you high and dry, and you made sure they didn't feel guilty about it. It's not their fault, really. The pilgrimage is extremely important to the people of Natlan. We all grow up listening to stories about the heroes of the past and dream of becoming warriors with the strength to defend our nation. Not out of a selfish desire for glory, but to lend our strength to a greater cause. Anyway, don't worry about it for now. Once you witness the spectacle for yourself, maybe it'll all start to make more sense. It'll also be a great opportunity to experience our culture and history. All right, time to leave our settlement. Let's head that way. Our last stop, the Statue of the Seven, is also in that direction. Let's go! The statue is so pretty. Is that what the Pyro Archon is like? You betcha. Beautiful, effortlessly confident, and absolutely awesome. It didn't work when you tried earlier, either. Now we know that wasn't a fluke. What's going on here? Huh? You can get elemental power from the Statue of the Seven? This would have been such a good opportunity to show Katina how impressive you are. It's so weird that it's not working. There must be something about Natlan. Aw, I would have liked to see that. Sorry, Katina. We got your hopes up for nothing. No, no, it's all right. 
If anything, I'm even more curious now. Were you really able to gain elemental powers just by touching the Statue of the Seven? That's something only vision bearers can use. C could you show me? Only if you want to, I mean. No pressure. Take it away, traveler. Wow, different elemental powers wielded by a single person. I've never even heard of something like that. Let me give it a try. <laughs> nope, still just Geo. Anyway, I was right. You really are something special. Just wait until you hear about our previous adventures. Ooh, what's that? Oh, that's a cuckoo soar. They fly high and fast, and they're always full of energy. Right? It's been ages since that day we first saw Devalin. They've come so far. Oh, before I forget, we've got a pretty long trek ahead of us, so here, take this. They look like shiny little gems, don't they? Don't be fooled, though. <laughs> it's actually candy. My mom made them. I always bring a few when I know I'm going to be out and about for a while. A little boost of sugar can really come in handy in a pinch. Woo! Paimon loves candy. Thanks! My pleasure, my pleasure. I've got all sorts of bits and bobs on me. I'm sure they'll come in handy at some point. We've come a long way. How does a break sound? Great idea! All this sightseeing is making Paimon hungry. Oh, are you all out of candy? I've got some more if you want. I've also got bread, drinks, fried rice, roasted apples. Whoa, you're practically a walking cafeteria! I just like bringing a lot of stuff with me. As my mom always says, it pays to be prepared. They only come in handy every so often. <laughs> but hey, better late than never, right? Huh? Is everything okay, Traveler? Seems like you've got something on your mind. Yeah, that was so weird. It has to mean something, don't you think? Actually, you know what? It could be because our Archon is different from the rest. Different how? Well, I heard that other nations' Archons live a long time and belong to a class of extremely powerful beings known as gods. And that's not the case in Natlan? Not at all. Every Pyral Archon in Natlan was an ordinary person before taking on the role. Huh? A human serving as an Archon? Is that even possible? You find it hard to believe too, huh? So that's not normal then? I guess I've just gotten used to how things are here in Natlan. Well, based on what we've seen, that's not usually how it works. It can't be that easy for a human to become an Archon, right? Pretty sure the Pyro Archon's the only one who can answer that. I do know this, though. Even after becoming the Pyro Archon, the person in the position still grows old and requires rest. The Statue of the Seven may look a lot like our current Archon, but that has to be a coincidence. Countless people have held that title over the years. Oh, I should also mention, the pilgrimage is actually how we select the Pyro Archon. Anyone can claim the title, you just have to prove your strength. So the contest is all about how strong you are. That's right. We believe performance in battle is the most comprehensive test for a future Archon. Plus, when someone emerges victorious, it's hard to argue with the results. Our current Archon achieved an overwhelming victory. The result was obvious from the beginning. Don't just take my word for it, though. Even the tribe elders said they've never seen an Archon with such strength before. But it's just as Chief Pakal said. Today's limits are tomorrow's breakthroughs. Our future Archons will go from strength to strength. Okay, Paimon's gonna ignore the whole human becoming an Archon thing for now. It's just... If she's really that strong, do you think that's a good thing or a bad thing for us? If we think back to what happened in Inazuma... I wear 
important worry about it. <laughs> Our Archon's a wonderful person and very welcoming to guests. I think you'll get along great. Yeah, you're right. It's not like we're planning on causing trouble either. It'll all work out. You'll meet her soon enough. All right, Paimon's just about ready to... Huh? What's that? Oh, we call this a phlogiston chislith. Good things happen if you infuse it with phlogiston. Uh, sorry to disappoint, but only people from Natlin can use that power. Uh, huh? Well, wait, wait, wait! You can use it too? How? That was amazing! I don't even know what to say! Wait, look behind you! Something's coming! What do we do? Is something after us? Should we get ready to fight? We're fine, we're fine. This here is Toto. Hi, you Toto. <laughs> it's me, Kachina. <laughs> well, aren't we looking lively today? Did the chisel floor you over here? <laughs> Warm, isn't it? So it was just a friendly Saurian. That's right. There's quite a few of them around here, and Toto's the friendliest and gentlest of the bunch. He's always hanging around these parts. I swear he does it just to show off to any outlanders that might come this way. Don't let his size fool you, though. He's just a big softy. <laughs> What does the crouching mean? That's an invitation. He's offering us a ride. Um, Paimon's not so sure about this. It's kind of scary, don't you think? He's huge! Oh, good point. <laughs> you guys have fun with that, then. Paimon will just float alongside. Wow, the sightseeing is even better from up here. The higher the vantage point, the better the view. <laughs> Are you and Toto close, Kachina? Yep. When I was little, my parents and I went to the Stadium of the Sacred Flame to buy a bunch of different fruits, but the cart we were using to transport them flipped over on our way back. Toto wasn't even half his current size back then, but I still burst into tears when I saw him approach. I was afraid he was going to eat all the berries and sunsetias and leave none left for me. In the end, though, he didn't eat a single one. And even chased off a few other Saurians looking to snatch a few for themselves. After that, he used his big head to help get our cart right side up again. I've been bringing him fruit ever since. Oh, and I was the one that named him Toto, actually. With the sheer amount of food he can eat, he pretty much grew like a weed. Before I knew it, he was already this big. Oh, look over there! That's our destination! The Stadium of the Sacred Flame. You can let us off here, Toto. Thanks for the lift. It's an easy walk from here, so I say we head the rest of the way on foot. It'd be quite the trek for Toto otherwise. That's true, especially considering his size. Well, see you later, Toto! <sighs> we made it. I'm supposed to meet some friends here, but... Huh, I don't see them anywhere. Maybe they're not here yet. Open your eyes, Slowpoke. Ugh, we've been here this entire time. I've already lost track of how long you've kept us waiting. Listen here, you. It's not just Kanish and Moolani's time you're wasting, but mine, too! Mine! What the heck? That's a strange-looking Saurian. Or, wait, is it even a Saurian? Take it down a notch, all right? You don't even know some of these people. Just because Kachina's too nice to get mad at you doesn't give you an excuse to be rude to her. And what are you gonna do about it? <laughs> you think you're the boss of... Hey! Oh, what do you think you're doing? All right, I've put him in a timeout for now. Sorry about that. Aw, you didn't have to do that. 
Well, it just doesn't have much of a filter, that's all. I don't mind. Man, he got what he deserved. Let's just hope the lesson sticks this time. <laughs> Mualani, there you are. Looks like you made some new friends. And here I was worried you ran into trouble on your way here. Hello, Paimon's Paimon. A traveler, you say? You came at the perfect time. The pilgrimage is a sight to behold this time of year. I don't see your teammates with you, Kachina. Where are they? Oh, uh, they went to join teams with a better chance at winning. <laughs> so you're saying you've been ditched. Again. <sighs> that might give them an advantage during the team stage, but it all comes down to individual strength sooner or later. Yeah, well, I couldn't even promise them we would make it through the team stage. The outcome of the team stage usually depends on the ancient name bearer, after all. Hey now, there's not a single person here that can promise their team victory. You're putting too much pressure on yourself. Besides, you're not lacking in strength at all. You just need a bit more confidence. You were only three victories short of reaching the Night Warden Wars last time. Wait, so if the pilgrimage is like a national sporting competition, then what are the Night Warden Wars? The former is a battle of skill. The latter is a real war. A war against our eternal enemy, the Abyss. So they're here too. Well, wait a second. You're saying the prize for winning the pilgrimage is the chance to go to war? That's not too far off. That's why it's called the Night Warden Wars. The pilgrimage chooses the strongest warriors among the tribes, and those warriors fight to repel the abyss in defense of our homeland. Their names and deeds are then recorded in epic tales passed down over time. That is the highest honor you can achieve in Natlan. Yes, but that's the nature of war. Danger comes with the territory. Resisting the abyss is our duty. But we're not alone in this fight. We also have the blessing of our Archon, which allows for our safe return. It's something we call the Ode of Resurrection, which does exactly what it sounds like, basically. Resurrect people, you mean? Yep, so it's not so scary, really. Our Archon's blessing gives us the courage to keep moving forward. Let's go register. We don't have much time. Wait, what about you, Kachina? You're not really planning on competing solo, are you? We really wish we could help, but we're not from here, so it doesn't seem like we can take part. There's no threshold to the number of participants. With the sheer number of teams, it's practically guaranteed chaos. No matter how strong or experienced the warrior, victory is never assured. In a situation like that, it's always better to have someone to watch your back. Oh, how about this? When we register, why don't we ask if these two can have special permission to participate? Odds are the answer will be no, so if that doesn't work, well... I only have a few teammates this time. If someone else could take them, then... You're not asking me to lead your team, are you? <laughs> Look at you, mind reader. So, what do you say? With how strong you are, it would practically be an upgrade for my teammates. Fine by me, but doesn't that leave you and Kachina as a team of two? <laughs> There's a world of difference between that and flying solo. Besides, we're a formidable duo. I bet our new friends here will agree that two's always better than one, right? Oh, you mean us? <laughs> You're right, two is definitely better than one. It's just like the old saying we have here in Natlan. No one fights alone. But what if I drag you down? Listen to yourself. You'd be hard-pressed to find someone in Natlan who can beat us when we're together. <laughs> Hearing you say that does make me feel a little more confident. <sighs> Still, teams rarely contain more than one ancient name bearer. People are definitely going to think of us as cowards. The rules don't forbid it, so who cares what they think? 
It's not like they left us any other option. Well, I'll leave you to break the news to your soon-to-be former teammates. I'm not good at stuff like that. Oh, I know. They deserve to hear it from me anyway. Just give me a second, you guys. We can go sign up together once I'm done. This is the place. Let's wait for Mulani here. Did you see the flags at the front gate when we entered? Oh, yeah. There were flags, weren't there? Those are our tribal flags. One for each of the six tribes that make up Natlan, including the Children of Echoes. Why the sudden tour guide routine? <laughs> I said I'd introduce them to Natlan, and we've got nothing better to do, so I might as well deliver on the promise. Fair enough. <clears throat> well, I'm from the Scions of the Canopy. We live high in the mountains and have the closest ties to the Yumkasaurs. My friend Mualani belongs to the people of the Springs, a seaside tribe. The scenery over there is beautiful, and you can find some really tasty fish. That just leaves the Flower Feather Clan, the Masters of the Nightwind, and the Collective of Plenty. If we get a chance after the pilgrimage, I'll be sure to show you around. Well, if we're talking tribes, allow me to stand in for our chief and welcome you on behalf of the people of the Springs. Mualani, you're back! We were just talking about you. Everything settled on my end. My teammates took it unbelievably well, actually. Your reputation is really something else, Kanich. They probably just didn't see any drawbacks to your proposition. We're saying the same thing here. You, my friend, are a formidable competitor, and they recognize that. Anyway, thanks for waiting, you guys. Let's go register. Hello there. Here to register for the pilgrimage? That's right. I wanted to ask, though. These two travelers are very interested in the competition. Any chance they could take part? I'm sorry, but only people from Natlan are eligible to participate. You couldn't make an exception just this once? This traveler is a renowned adventurer. He's more than skilled enough to participate. And I'm sure the audience would be interested in seeing what he can do. It's not that simple, Miss Mulani. Even a single exception sets a dangerous precedent for countless interested parties in the future. The purpose of the pilgrimage is not only to select strong warriors, but also to collect contending fire from the battles. This is the fire that fuels the sacred flame. Natlan is only safe from the invasion of the abyss while the sacred flame burns eternal. Oh, so there's another purpose for the tournament. That was the initial purpose, actually. Every participant, whether they win or lose, contributes to the defense of our nation. That's what makes it such an honor to take part. Exactly right, Mr. Kanich. Contending fire can only be produced in battles between people of Natlan. Outlander participation would inhibit the production of this fire, which could in turn jeopardize the sacred flame. Oh, so it all comes down to the contending fire. Well, you can still enjoy the event from the stands. I'll try to get you some good seats. That would be great! Tourists like us are better suited to being spectators anyway. Still, there's something Paimon was wondering, actually. You read Paimon's mind, Traveler. Why doesn't everyone just fight together? You know, since you can bring them back to life. The power of resurrection has its limits. For starters, the Ode only works on those who bear an ancient name. That's also why ordinary people who emerge victorious in the pilgrimage aren't sent to fight the Abyss. It's for their own protection. Although, they're still afforded the same honor as those who triumph over the Abyss in battle. That brings us to the other condition for resurrection. Not much to this one, actually. <laughs> Just one word. Victory. Victory? The victors shall burn bright, while the losers must turn to ash. Only those who triumph over the abyss earn the right to be revived. Defeat in battle not only means death, but also the destruction of your ancient name, preventing it from ever being inherited again. The tales of the vanquished are eventually forgotten, 
and an ancient name cannot survive when the stories of its bearers are lost to time. Yeah, they won, right? Isn't it the defeated ones who need reviving? You have to think about it at the team level. For example, five representatives will be sent to repel the abyss this time. Even if four of them were to perish, the Ode of Resurrection would still take effect. All you need is for one person to return victorious. Because every victory is a building block of our legacy. Of course, the team needs to be strong enough for that to be the case. Otherwise, the price of failure is still very high. That's why the first stage of the pilgrimage is divided into teams, to instill in us the importance of working together. No one fights alone. That is what we believe. A lone warrior is one whose defeat is final. This all sounds pretty dangerous. Well, that axiom is meant to be a warning as much as a source of inspiration. Danger is always present, but together we can move forward, united in the knowledge that behind every hero charging into battle lies the support of all of Natlan as well as our Archon. Not to mention, the Abyss isn't an enemy with a concrete form. We're often just dealing with the fallout of its scheming. I've actually fallen in battle before. I spent some time wandering the realm of the Wyab. It was unlike anything I'd ever experienced before. The realm of the Wyab? Does that mean the Wyab exists somewhere in Natlan? Hard to say. The realm's not somewhere you can access by ordinary means, and very few people are capable of establishing a mental connection with the Wyab. We call this realm the Night Kingdom, a mysterious liminal space between the body and mind, life and death. The fact that you were resurrected at all is the worst thing in the world. Then releasing you from your timeout has got to come in at a close second. <laughs> You would do well to speak with reverence of the almighty dragon, Lord Kahula ha <laughs> lest you live to regret it. If you're done arguing, your registration is now complete. Huh. <sighs> it all went fairly quickly, considering we all know each other. Now, I just need to register your team members according to their name cards, and you'll be all set. <laughs> In the meantime, you can all go rest at the hotel. As usual, dinner and lodging for tonight are free. Nice. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, all food and entertainment before tomorrow's matches are on the house, courtesy of our Archon. Family and friends included, which means you both get in on it. Come on, let's go have some fun. Dig in, you guys. Eat as much as you want. These dishes are all local specialties. There's more where this came from, too, so don't be shy. Let's feast until the bill gives the Archon a heart attack. Don't be dramatic. The Pyro Archon is very generous, even if it does cause some trouble for all the hotel workers and volunteers. Speaking of trouble, I've locked a how away for now, so you don't have to worry about him being a nuisance. Wait, isn't that a little harsh? Nah, Kenich and Ahau are always like that. Everyone has their own unique way of getting along with their Saurian companion. Aww. What's got you all down in the dumps, Kachina? You don't have to worry about tomorrow. I'll be with you every step of the way. I know, I know. Everything's fine, really. I'm just... I'm just nervous. I can't keep using my age as an excuse. I have to get stronger. I have to prove to people that I'm not trying to avoid the Night Warden Wars. You don't have to prove anything to anyone. You know your own heart. So stop beating yourself up over other people's opinions. If they don't think you deserve to bear your ancient name, they can take it up with the Wyab. Trust me, Kachina. The Wyab see something special in you. I just hope it's not the fact that I can take a few punches. Yeah, I'm on a seven or eight pilgrimage losing streak. My ranking has been improving little by little, but still no wins. To be honest, losing seven or eight times isn't even a lot. 
Maybe other people can't see your improvement, but your performance still isn't something to scoff at. Yeah, didn't you say you got really close before? It's just, what if I don't even make it through the team stage this time? Hey, have a little faith, will you? You've got me on your team. Stumble, and I'll be there to get you back on your feet. Run into someone you can't beat, and we'll face them together. I know you've never tasted victory, but you trust me, don't you? Lilani, you're... you're the best. I trust you. I definitely do. And you're right. I've got to pull myself together. I still don't know why the Lyab chose me to inherit an ancient name. But I can't be the only bear who's ever felt this way. If they can keep at it, so can I. Not to mention, the fact that your ancient name has survived until now means all your forebears managed to honor its meaning. Otherwise, it would be lost to us by now, shattered by defeat in battle. That's right! And you'll have us rooting for you, too! No, no, no. It should be the other way around. I was clearly the one who asked to learn from you. But still... <laughs> Thanks, you guys. <sighs> Jeez, now I'm crying again. <laughs> Everyone has been so nice to me today. I'll win this time for sure. I won't let your support go to waste. Oh, right. I should eat something. My mom said I need to keep up my strength for tomorrow. Nice to see your game face back, Kachina. Thanks for encouraging her, you two. It's easy for people to only see how she has a lot to learn, so it isn't often that she meets people willing to treat her with patience. Don't you worry. We've seen how kind and hardworking she is. We can already tell she's a wonderful person. <laughs> Take it easy. You're getting tears in your food. I... I'll pour you all some drinks. I brought some homemade fruit juice. Let me just go grab some cups. She even travels with homemade juice? <laughs> Kachina's backpack is practically a bottomless pit. It's got everything. <sighs> That's true, but she definitely only offered us some so she could go find somewhere to cry for a little while. Seems like you two really look out for her. She's like a little sister to me, you know? She's already so talented... She just needs that one decisive win to convince her of it. And I have a feeling this is the one. This could be the win that finally gives her that confidence. Why are you so sure? Is that what happened to you? Oh, no, no. I was just born confident. Mulani's being modest. She's already a three-time veteran of the Night Warden Wars. Came out on top each time. And she's never had to be resurrected. What? Nah, it's no big deal. The opponents I had to face were pretty tame, that's all. Ooh, no wait, that makes it sound too unimpressive. Either way, the challenges haven't been that difficult so far. But I'd love to fight alongside Kachina and experience the glory of victory together. The flowers, the applause. Paimon gets it. That's how Paimon and the Traveler are, too. Hey, a little more confidence, please? Paimon's always there to cheer you on. Drinks are here. <laughs> better try them while they're still fresh. Feeling better now, Kachina? Me? <laughs> I'm totally fine. Really, I promise. That was just nerves earlier. I'm gonna get some meat in my system, then head out to get some exercise. Wanna be nice and loose for the tournament tomorrow. I'll come with you. Just don't go overboard, okay? The last thing we need is for someone to oversleep. We've got an early day tomorrow. <laughs> if only we had a friend who never oversleeps. All right, fine. I'll make sure you guys are up on time. boy. I knew you'd catch on. Morning, Traveler. Morning, Paimon. 
Looks like everyone's here right on time. <laughs> Good to see that no one overslept. Says the one who only made it because I was there to get you. Wow, not so loud. You're gonna give me a headache. Well, if you don't do well today, we know who to blame now, don't we? See how your friends talk to me, Kanich. I help you wake them up, make sure everyone's on time, and do I get a thank you, a how? No, I get told off. Mualani's right, though. <sighs> Hopeless. Every last one of you. All right, moving on. How did you sleep last night, Kachina? I had some nerves at first, but my bed was great. I fell asleep the minute my head hit the pillow. That's good to hear. Maybe you handle stress better than you know. The competition's about to start. Did everyone eat something? A little. Didn't want to overdo it. Oh no. We were so busy focusing on the tournament, we forgot to buy something. I thought that might happen. Here, I brought you some. No thanks necessary. I'll treat you to something even better once. Attention, everyone. The tournament is about to begin. All contestants proceed to the venue. I repeat, all contestants proceed to the venue. Well, I'd say more, but that's our cue. The opening ceremony is what kicks everything off. You should be able to see Kachina and me from the stands. We're counting on you to cheer us on. Don't you worry. Paimon's gonna cheer so loud, you'll hear it across the stadium. Thanks, you two. I'll be sure to keep an ear out. Well, we should get going. See you later. Okay, bye-bye. Attention, everyone. The tournament's about to begin. All spectators, please take your seats. I repeat, all spectators, please take your seats. Oh, that's our cue! Wow, we've definitely never witnessed a competition of this scale before. Let's go in once you're ready. Entering the Stadium of the Sacred Flame? You won't be able to leave the arena once the tournament begins. The Pilgrimage of the Return of the Sacred Flame is a competition with a long, storied history. Countless hopefuls have gathered here today, each vying for the same prize. The right to serve their homeland in the Night Warden Wars. Before we begin, allow me to remind everyone of the rules. Today's tournament begins with the team stage, before advancing into individual competition. Each team will board a hot air balloon, which will land at a random location. Contestants must search for fire towers within the contest grounds, accumulate contending fire through combat, and bring a sufficient amount back to the stadium. Defeat in combat, departure from the contest grounds, and running out of time all lead to elimination. Only the strongest teams will be able to withstand the onslaught of battle and return to the arena, blazing fire in hand. Only those who emerge triumphant in the team stage earn the right to take part in the individual battles. The outcome of these one-on-one -on -one matches not only affects the contestants' individual scores, but also determines their next opponent. After many rounds of battle, the contestants with the top five rankings will get the chance to take part in the Night Warden Wars. Now, let us welcome our Archon as she delivers the opening address. Skill, strategy, fortune, form. Many factors influence strength, but victory never lies. The pilgrimage is not merely a trial to determine the strongest among us, but also a stage upon which to showcase your individual growth. Today marks the beginning of yet another legendary saga, one written in the triumphs of the victors. So, without further ado, let the games begin! So that's the Pyro Archon? Uh... Is it just Paimon, or does she seem kind of intimidating? Kachina said she was friendly and welcoming, but, uh, how did she come to that conclusion? Didn't Kachina say she was just an ordinary person before becoming the Archon? Sure doesn't seem like it. 
She doesn't seem ordinary at all. Oh, look! It's Kachina and the others! Well, folks, it's clear the contestants are already raring to go. The teams will now board their hot air balloons and make their way to the competition grounds. Chaska! Chaska! Yeah! Go, 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 go. Go. Do it! Kick their butts, Itzna! Go, Mulani, go! You can do it, Kachina! And the crowd goes wild. The hot air balloons are about to ascend. Contestants, prepare yourselves to take flight. Remember the rules. The balloons will take you to random locations, and your battle starts the moment you land. Best your competition. Collect sacred fire and bring it back to the stadium. Good luck, everyone. Congratulations, Mualani. Congratulations, Kachina. You've successfully cleared the team stage. Amazing. Congratulations. Congratulations. Keep it up, Mualani. Kachina, Mualani. Kachina, Mualani. Woo! Kachina, Mualani. You two can take a short break while the team stage comes to a close. We'll draw names to determine the individual matchups in a moment. After that, we'll proceed to the next stage of the competition. I wish you both the best. You two are assigned to different lounge areas. If you'll follow me, please, Kachina. Solo battles next. And I was three wins short last time. I've got to do better. <sighs> Just calm down, Kachina. You're in good form. You can do this. Hold it right there. This is the contestants' lounge. Unauthorized access is prohibited. We're contestants, too. Let us through. According to my list, you're not among the individual match contenders, nor are you related to any of the remaining candidates. Well, we'd still be candidates if it was just based on strength. We only lost because two other contestants snuck up on us like cowards. If you could just go contact the referee, we'll wait right here for you to... Ugh. Wait, you two are... Well, look who we have here. Remember us? Your little trick got us disqualified. Since we've crossed paths again, let's settle this once and for all. We'll see who truly deserves to advance to the next stage. Fight us! Right now? Don't mind him, Kachina. Tournament rules place you under no obligation to honor that request. A loss is a loss, and that's final. You! Don't just stand there! Get security over here now! Forget the rules. Isn't the pilgrimage about picking the strongest warriors? She just happened to catch us off guard. It was all luck! Exactly. Now's our chance to duke it out fair and square. Kachina! Who are you? Traveler! Paimon! What are you doing here? We just came to have a chat and then all of a sudden these guys were threatening you! Huh. You're not bullying Kachina on our watch! Uh, thanks, you guys. I don't know your names, but if you really want to face me, I'll allow it. It has to wait until after the tournament, though. I need to focus on the upcoming matches. I don't want to let my parents down, or any of the friends who helped me get this far. That's enough, you two. Being caught off guard is not an excuse. You think you can cry foul play when you face the abyss? If this behavior persists, you may find yourselves barred from future competition. <sighs> Whatever. Let's go. Are you all right? You're not hurt anywhere, are you? No, thanks to you. To be honest, I totally blanked out just now. I had no idea what to do. Right. I, I'll show them what I'm made of. That sounds more like it. You can do it! I heard there was trouble. Has the situation been resolved? Yes. It was nothing out of the ordinary. A couple of sore losers coming to stir up trouble with the contestants. <sighs> Some people are so obsessed with glory, they can't even bear the idea of failure. 
I hope you don't let him get to you, Kachina, because you'll need to get ready. Your match is up soon. That came up quick. All right, I'm coming. <laughs> well, guess I'm off. You must be Kachina. You know, people told me I got lucky in the draw, but I beg to differ. There are no coincidences in the arena. If you're standing here, it means you're strong, no matter what anyone says. So, I'm looking forward to seeing what you're made of. The team stage ended before I had my fill of battle. I hope you don't disappoint. Well, anything you want to say in return? I... I won't lose to you. Not when so many people are supporting me and cheering for me, and I... I really want to earn a spot in the Night Warden Wars. All right, our contestants have each said their piece. To your places, everyone. And begin. <coughs> I actually lost. <laughs> Knew I had an eye for the good ones. Guess that means I was right about you all along. Congratulations to Kachina for taking the win. Let's give her a round of applause, everyone. Now, diving into the other matchups. That's one down! Woohoo! Where do you come from, kid? Think you've got what it takes to go to war? Hate to break it to you, but it won't be easy to get through me. And you are. <laughs> you don't recognize me? <laughs> Figures. Our generation's been in decline ever since Atea and the others retired from the front lines. Either way, once we face off, you won't forget my name anytime soon. <laughs> Let's do this! <sighs> Gotta hand it to you, kid. You really impressed me. I take back what I said before, Match. You've got what it takes, Kachina. Youngsters like you, you'll forge your own miracles. And it's Kachina for the win! We'll now head into a short break as our contestants prepare for the final round of competition. Thanks for cheering me on, you two. You were great out there! You faced a lot of impressive competitors, but they never stood a chance. I don't think I did too shabby either. I've never gotten this many points before. You ready for the last round, Kachina? I got permission to come see you before the last round starts. Based on your score, it looks like you'll make it to the Night Warden Wars if you win your next match. But, uh, your final opponent... It's me. What? Yeah, I just found out myself. We're really close in the rankings, so... Only the winner gets to move forward. But I... I wanted to fight alongside you. I did too, but it is what it is. People with similar scores tend to get matched against each other. But we just have to get past it. War is cruel, and the Abyss certainly isn't going to go easy on us. Only Natlan's strongest deserve to stand against them. So, I'm going to give this battle my all, Kachina. And I hope you do the same. To hand victory to your opponent is to take pity on them. But no one's asking for pity here, yeah? So, you ready? I, I'll do my best. Atta girl. So, if one of you has to lose, who should we cheer for then? <laughs> you mean one of us is destined to win? It's something worth celebrating either way. I'll be happy no matter who wins. And I know you feel the same way, Kachina. So... Don't overthink it. Let's just have ourselves a good match. Traveler, Paimon, I'll see you after the match. Kachina, I'll see you on the field. I've been training so long for this, and Mualani's helped so much. I'm going to show her that it didn't go to waste. Thanks for believing in me. I'll try believing in myself this time, too. And with that, the winners of this pilgrimage have been decided. Put your hands together for our victors as we welcome them to the stage.
with her sixth consecutive win, Cheska of the Flower Feather Clan. She managed to turn the tides all by herself, Ionsan of the Collective of Plenty. With an explosive comeback ten years in the making, Kayulani of the People of the Springs. A seasoned and renowned warrior, Kibungu of the Scions of the Canopy. Last but not least, finally living up to her true potential, Kachina of the Children of Echoes. Woo! Over here, Kachina! I... I made it. Feels like a dream. This is no dream. Your strength is what got you here. We'll be going to war together. It's an honor to fight alongside you, Kachina. No matter how many pilgrimages I witness, I'm always overwhelmed with pride in this moment. Pride for you, my brave warriors. You give me faith that our innumerable sacrifices are not in vain, that the future of Natland shall burn with the brilliance of a blazing fire. Brave warriors, the following is an order and also a personal request. Go forth and crush the abyss! Seize victory and glory for Natlan! As, as you command! command. Uh, as you command! Traveler, Paimon, there you are! I wanted to thank you for supporting Kachina back there. She really has grown into a formidable competitor. She deserved that win. Not that it feels good to lose, but I'm happy for her. <laughs> Oh, it's definitely bittersweet, though. Hey, want to go for a walk? Kachina and the others will be busy fighting the Abyss, so why don't I show you around Netland for a while? Sure! What do you say, Traveler? Uh, something on your mind? Listen, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't worried. But she's got experienced, powerful companions to take the lead. I'm sure they'll be fine. Glory always comes with a risk. If victory was assured, no one would take pride in it. She's not one to fall so easily. She bears the ancient name Uthabiti, after all. We just need to hold a fort while they're gone. Come to think of it, you've never visited my tribe, have you? Come on, I'll take you. The people of the springs live alongside the Kaholasaurus. Our tribe is an ideal spot for some r and &R. I'll take you to all the best spots. You'll love it. Looks like you beat me to it. Kinich? I was planning on inviting you to visit the Scions of the Canopy. Most of the adventures that belong to the Guild come from my tribe, so I figured you might be interested. Hey, first come, first served. You snooze, you lose, Kinich. Yeah, yeah, you were first. Still, Traveler, Paimon, feel free to stop by if you ever have time. You're always welcome. All right, let's pack up and head out.
Ah, we're finally here! So this is your home, Mualani. Paimon can't wait to have a look around. Ah, see? What did I tell you? <sighs> a dip in the hot springs after a battle is just the best. Fetch me a bottle of wine, would you, dear? Just one? Let's get another. It's still early in the day, isn't it? Wanna go to Golden Dusk later? <laughs> now this is a vacation. Absolutely amazing. Wow, it's so lively around here. Is there some kind of holiday going on? We try to treat every day like a holiday around here. We believe every day is worth celebrating. Now, let me show you around. Hmm, where to start? Show Chiqui Cattle Records, Kalumchi Plaza. Oh, there's so many options, but I recommend starting with the real highlight around here. The hot springs, of course. Natural hot springs have tons of health benefits. Go for a nice long soak and you're guaranteed a good night's sleep. Uh, wait, you want us to bathe? Here? Oh, don't be shy. Come on, I'll take you to get changed. Mualani! Huh? Oh, Auntie Atea! <laughs> Please, I've told you that just Atea is fine. <laughs> Do I look that old to you? <sighs> Were you taking these two to the hot springs? That's right. Oh, let me introduce you. This is the traveler, and the small one next to him is Paimon. They only just arrived in Natlan, so I'm taking them around to experience our customs. Hi there! Ah, uh, I'm Mualani's neighbor, Atea. By the way, Mualani, I heard you lost a Kachina during the pilgrimage. Is that true? Yeah, I was this close to winning. Oh, definitely not the result I wanted, but still not too surprising. Kachina's always been strong. Anyway, it's all in the past. I'm gonna take these two for a dip in the hot springs. Talk to you later. Oh, wait, you'll need swimsuits first. Hmm, I'm sure I can find you something lying around the shop. I'll go look. Hold it right there, young lady. Have you forgotten the rule about bathing in the hot springs? Rule? Oh, wait, you mean... There's a rule about bathing in the hot springs? That's right. Outlanders have to complete a trial at an artificial hot spring before they're allowed access to the natural ones. It's not nearly as scary as it sounds. Basically, natural hot springs have higher temperatures that not everyone can withstand. A few travelers have gotten scalded by the water in the past, so now we have an unwritten rule. All outlanders need to adapt to the lower temperature artificial springs first. But seriously, Auntie Atea, do we have to be so strict? These two are formidable adventurers. I know they can handle it. <laughs> Famous last words. The hot springs are not to be underestimated. You can never be too careful. Besides, the environment's been unstable lately. Could be a sign that the abyss is about to attack. Oh, that sounds dangerous. You know, Paimon's really not all that formidable, so careful is good. Exactly. There will be no excessive risk-taking on my watch. Mualani, take them to the artificial spring first. Okay, okay. That's more like it. And don't try anything funny. I'm heading to the artificial spring in a bit, and if I don't see you there, your days of copping free meals at my place are done. Relax, relax. Oh, by the way, Atea, how have you been feeling lately? Much better. How else would I have the energy to keep an eye on all you rascals? <laughs> hey, you over there! How many times have I told you no roughhousing near the hot springs? Oh, shoot! That weird lady's back again! Uh, run! Uh, stop right there! Ugh, you need a stern talking to! She sure has a lot of energy. <laughs> She's a legend in our tribe. Everyone knows her. Back before I inherited my ancient name... She was one of Natland's most renowned warriors, famous for her love of hot springs. In fact, she often threw parties at the hot springs. 
She referred to anyone who came to these parties as her hot spring buddies. The attendees were all respected warriors like Liliuo, Kayulani, Vichama, oh, and the Archon. If Paimon lived here, she would take advantage of the hot springs too. It's just, during battle, she was impaled in the abdomen by an abyssal monster. The doctors managed to save her life, but they made it clear that she could never bathe in the hot springs again. Abyssal power still exists within her body. Immersing herself in hot water would accelerate the corrosion of her internal organs and the progression of her illness. Oh, no wonder she has so many scars. Paimon had no idea she was so seriously injured. That's normal. She never talks about her injury. She's worked tirelessly over the years to dig up artificial springs so that more and more people can experience our tribe's natural wonders, even though she can't enjoy them herself. I really respect her for that. Anyway, let's head to the artificial springs. If Auntie Atea gets there before us, we're gonna be in some real hot water. Oh, I see. That's a great idea. I like it. See, I told you the chief would agree. Well, let's get moving then. We can't let a word of this slip to anyone else. Hey, Amina, Hikaru, Marokau. You three seem particularly cheerful today. What's the occasion? Oh, Mulani, <laughs> you're back. Um, who are these two? This is the Traveler and Paimon, two very important guests. I wanted to take them to the natural hot springs, but Auntie Atea caught us, so we had to come here first. Oh, what a coincidence. We were just talking about her. We think Auntie Atea's illness has taken a turn for the better. Really? How can you tell? Okay, so while you've been busy with the pilgrimage, we noticed that she's been visiting the hot springs alone at night. Yeah, specifically, the hot springs in the cave to the north of our settlement. I'm sure you know the one. Apparently, she used to go there a lot before they became abandoned for some reason. Yeah, she could never come into contact with hot water before, and now she's visiting the hot springs every night. I mean, it's pretty obvious what that means, right? Yeah, so we got to thinking, what if we renovated the abandoned spring behind her back, then threw her a huge surprise party? Chief Amina thinks it's a great idea, too. So, you want in? Of course. How could you even think of pulling this off without me? I'm a little busy right now, though. I'll come find you once we're done at the hot springs. <laughs> of course. Take your time. You should focus on our guests for now. These artificial springs are pretty new, but the experience is just as good as the natural ones, if you ask me. We really worked hard on them, so I hope you enjoy. And you two, I know you want to focus on Atea's surprise, but don't forget your patrol duties in the meantime. The Abyss could attack at any moment, so we need to stay vigilant. You got it, Chief. We'll keep an eye out. You can count on us. All right, we're off then. See you at the abandoned spring, Mulani. I'm also gonna head out. Have fun! Finally, it's hot spring time! Oh, I already arranged swimwear for you guys, by the way. Come on, I'll show you to the changing room. Ah! <sighs> <sighs> oh, oh, ah, ha, ha. Oh. So, what do you think? Can you feel the warmth relax every muscle in your body? Yeah, it's so nice. The steam is warm, too. The first time I came to the hot springs, there was no calming effect whatsoever. I was such a little ball of energy, the moment my parents looked away, I ran off to the high-temperature pools. It was actually pretty funny looking back on it. They were absolutely frantic, looking for me all over, until finally they saw my head slowly poke out from under the water. I was too young to remember the whole ordeal, but my parents told me all about it. A natural-born swimmer, my mother called me. Just like her, I taught myself how to dive underwater the first time I ever went swimming. So feel free to go for a swim. I'll be right here if you need rescuing. Okay, here goes nothing. Ahem. <clears throat> Auntie Atea, you really came to check on us? <laughs> of course, and I'm glad you listened. I brought you all some milk and snacks as well. 
I'll just leave them here. <sighs> the temperature in the artificial springs isn't too high, so I went with Soros crackers and grain fruit chips. See how you like them. Oh, thank you! Um, mm, these are great! Well, I did make them myself. <sighs> Very few young people know how to truly appreciate hot springs, so listen carefully. The temperature of the hot spring not only determines the type of snacks you should choose, but also the amount of time you should spend in the water. To bathe in a hot spring is to completely empty your mind. As such, swimming around the pool is incredibly disruptive and impolite, and something you should absolutely not learn from Mualani. Hey! <sighs> All right, looks like you were able to adapt to the temperature, no problem. You should be able to switch to the natural springs then. Well, I've got to get going. Oh, and make sure you drink your milk. I'm looking at you, Mualani. <sighs> I still remember how you used to pour it into the water when you were little. That better not happen again, whether I'm here to catch you or not. Ugh, okay, okay. Iman didn't think you were the type to do something like that. <laughs> I remember thinking I'd totally get away with it, too. But turns out milk is pretty easy to spot when you pour it into clear water. Hmm, not my best work. Some people get dizzy if they stay in here too long. You guys all right? Hyman's fine, just a bit stuffed. <laughs> Looks like you two are naturals. Oh, by the way, I have to leave you on your own for a little while this afternoon. I'm gonna help the others fix up that abandoned spring. I certainly don't trust their aesthetic tastes. Who knows what will become of the place if I leave them unattended. In exchange, though, I can recommend a couple of shops that are worth a visit. Huh? Yeah, she brought us snacks and taught us about the hot springs. We want to do our part, too. Friends are supposed to help each other out. We'd feel bad otherwise. Well, then, the more the merrier. All right, we should get going. Let's organize the best hot spring gathering Natland's ever seen. Mulani! Wait, you brought our guests, too? We're here to help! But you're important guests. We can't put you to work. All right, all right. Stop trying to out-polite each other, would you? The sooner we get this party started, the sooner we get to enjoy the real party. Now, where to start? Hmm, looks like the water outlet is blocked pretty bad. We'll need to dig under it. Ooh, those boxes in the corner need to be thrown out as well. Oh, they're moldy as all get out. Ugh. Also, someone needs to go out and get some cloth, wood, and decorations. Oh, and snacks, too. I say we get enough for 20 or 30 people. Bulk purchases fetch the best prices, after all. Oh, but don't just accept the first offer they give you. Uh, uh, I'm not good at haggling. Why don't you go? Hey, I'm not any better, and I wouldn't even know what to buy. Um, how about we handle things here while you three deal with the shopping? Yeah, that works, too. I can introduce you to all the shops while we're at it. All right, let's meet back here later. Hey there, Yellowfath. Hope business has been going well. Well, if it isn't Moolani, back from the pilgrimage? That's right. Didn't make the cut this year, though. Well, it wouldn't be a competition if everyone got to win. So what'll it be today? Here, it's all on the list. Quite a sizable order, as you can see. So, uh... Can we expect a discount? Wow, that is a large order. What's it all for, a party? That's right. Uh, keep this between us for now, but we're throwing a hot spring party for Auntie Atea. Wait, you're saying she can go in the hot springs again? That's great news. How about this? You can have the decorations on the house, and I'll give you 20% off the cloth and wood. Come on, I know you can sweeten the deal. That pile of wood's been sitting there since I left for the pilgrimage. At this rate, you need to get rid of it or it's gonna go moldy. All right, all right. Such a handful. Just give me a moment while I pack all this up for you. Wow, that was amazing, Mulani. <laughs> all in a day's work. By the way, Yellowfath, 
Are these two stones for sale? Interested? They won't come cheap. I'm not planning to haggle this time, I promise. Package them separately, would you? Nope. Kachina likes shiny little trinkets, so whenever I come across something like that, I always buy it for her. I'll hold on to them for now. It'll be a nice little surprise for her when she returns victorious from battle. I'm sure she'll like it. All right, that should be everything. If you could just double check, make sure nothing's missing. Let me see. Huh? What's this crate of juice doing here? That's on the house. Seven years ago, when the Abyss attacked our tribe, Atea saved my brother's life. She never asked for anything in return, but I could never forget what she did for my family that day. So, send her my regards, would you? And have fun! Oh, we will. It's gonna be a party to remember. Thanks a lot, Yellowfath. Well, that's our shopping done. Let's head back. We're back. How's everything going? Wow, this place cleaned up nice. You got the water unblocked too. <laughs> Good work. I would hope so. We spent all day clearing out debris from the bottom of the spring. Did you guys get everything? Oh, we brought back tons of stuff. We set it down near the cave entrance. All right then, roll up your sleeves, everyone, and let's get back to work. Actually, why don't you two take a break? I'll handle it from here. Traveler. Mind lending me a hand? So, I was brainstorming on the way over, and I'm thinking we could draw something on the wall over here, and the snacks and drinks can go over there. So, what do you think? Not bad, right? It looks amazing! I might have no idea you were such a great designer! Well, I'm usually the one in charge of the family store, so I'm pretty good at things like renovation and organization. Not to mention, this was totally a group effort. Still, I didn't expect it to take quite this long. Guess it's too late to invite Auntie Atea over, huh? Yeah, uh, tonight's definitely not gonna work. Chief Amina set up those patrols to guard against the Abyss, and Atea volunteered. So she's on watch tonight. I see. Well, guess the surprise will have to wait until tomorrow. Hmm... This could actually be a good thing. She can relieve all the exhaustion of keeping watch all night by soaking in the hot spring. Ha! <laughs> She's gonna love it. Well, let's call it a day then. Traveler, Paimon, you must be tired too. Come on, I'll take you to the inn. All right, this is it. Get a good night's sleep, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Yep, good night! Ah, Paimon's exhausted. We really went all over the place today, didn't we? Anyway, we need to be well rested for the party tomorrow, so let's head inside. To arms, everyone! To arms! Ugh. Why now? Uh, hi! What's with all the noise? Traveler! Paimon! Wake up! Mualani? What's going on? Uh, where did all these monsters come from? It's the Abyss. Our patrols are trying to drive them back as we speak. Come with me. I'll take you somewhere safe. Uh, Mualani, a little help over here. We can't hold them back much longer. One moment. I'll be right there. Really? That's perfect. I've been waiting for the chance to fight by your side. Hang in there. We're here to help. We've cleared out most of the monsters over here. Thanks for your help. It would have taken me ages on my own. Looks like we're still in for a long night, though. We still have no idea where these creatures are coming from. Let's go ask Amina. She'll have a better handle on the situation. Amina! Oh, it's you three. Thank you for helping clear out those monsters. We were prepared for an attack, but we didn't have enough people to prevent them from breaking through our defenses. No casualties so far, though. Where'd they come from this time? The east side. We've pinpointed the position of an abyssal pylon, but we don't have enough manpower to take it down. An abyssal pylon? What's that? 
A kind of gate created by the Abyss. One that allows monsters from the Night Kingdom to enter the physical world. The only way to end the attack is to destroy the pylon as soon as possible. Otherwise, the endless hordes of monsters will exhaust our defenses. Exactly. That's what I'm most concerned about. Their numbers suggest there might even be multiple pylons in the area. We're searching for them as we speak. All right, we'll go seal off the one to the east. Traveler, Paimon, can I count on your help again? Of course! We can't just sit back and do nothing! On behalf of the people of the Springs, you have my thanks. We're counting on you. Let's go. There's no time to lose. Take care, Amina. Whew! That should do it, right? I don't see any more monsters, so... Looks like we're in the clear. Do these attacks happen a lot? Must be hard on your tribe. Yeah, it makes things hard sometimes, but that's how our ancestors have always lived. Besides, the Abyss doesn't care how difficult our lives are. Fighting back is the only option. Come on, we should head back. Huh? What are you looking at? Is there something over there? You're right. Mualani, look! They're coming from that direction! Wait, that area looks kind of familiar. What? How unlucky can we get? We just finished the renovations. We probably don't have any reinforcements over there, so it's up to us. Let's move. <laughs> Ataya, what are you doing here? Where's the pylon? <laughs> Where do you think? If I'm here, means that thing is long gone. I was in a hurry, so it's not my best work. You should check if all the important stuff is still here. Stop talking for now. That wound looks bad. The abyssal power is corroding your body. Is this the right area? Hello? Anyone there? <sighs> Mulani and Atea. What's going on? We were told the second pylon was over here. Atea took care of it, but she's injured. Quick, someone get a doctor! All right, all right, stop fussing. Don't you think I know my own limits? The main thing is they didn't destroy anything. This is a beautiful hot spring, by the way. I can tell how much work you put into it. Wait, no. This was meant to be a surprise. <laughs> For me, right? I know. Atea! <laughs> you think I couldn't tell you were avoiding me on purpose? Not one of you stopped to say hello today. It couldn't be more obvious that you were hiding something. <laughs> and you, Mualani, were you the one that brought the snacks? How many times have I told you you have to choose them based on the temperature of the water? <sighs> oh, forget about that. The doctor's almost here, and you're gonna get all better. Then we can have a meal together, and I'll help you make whatever you want, okay? You just have to hold on. The impurities and the elemental energy we embody repel each other. What? The crystal has been purified? When? The anguish he feels has brought him to tears. I also came across a teardrop crystal. Can you purify it? Atea! Atea! Wait, what do you mean? Oh. <sighs> what is this? Some sort of purification? The abyssal power, it's being cleansed away! How can that be? I never knew that was even possible. <clears throat> <laughs> Atea! Uh, the Mark of the Abyss. It's gone. Yes, thanks to the Traveler. By the way, Traveler, are you all right? I just saw you purify Abyssal power from Atea's body. That didn't injure you in any way, did it? You're sure? Good, good. Ah, oh, thank goodness.
You scared us all half to death just now. All right, everyone, head back and get some rest. We'll meet here tomorrow. We'll celebrate Atea's recovery and our triumph over the abyss. And most importantly, we'll show the Traveler and Paimon how grateful we are for their aid. Let's make it an occasion to remember. Dismissed! Got it! Got any other secret powers I should know about? <laughs> oh, but seriously, you really came through for us tonight, so thank you. Paimon almost forgot you had that ability. You used to back in Mondstadt to cleanse Devalin's tears, didn't you? That was some quick thinking, Traveler. Huh? You look like something's bothering you. What's wrong? Abyssal power still exists within her body. Immersing herself in hot water would accelerate the corrosion of her internal organs and the progression of her illness. We think Auntie Atea's illness has taken a turn for the better. She could never come into contact with hot water before, and now she's visiting the hot springs every night. I mean, it's pretty obvious what that means, right? Hello? Traveler? Maybe you can zone out some other time because Paimon can barely keep her eyes open. Let's head back for now. <laughs> not interested in hanging out with the other kids? Snacks not to your taste? Hot spring temperature too high? None of the above, huh? I heard you were the one who cleansed the abyssal power yesterday. You sensed it, didn't you? <sighs> I was hoping to keep it a secret for a few more days. Didn't want to ruin the celebrations and all. <sighs> but looks like it was no use. Hey, kid! Who, me? Yes, you. Come on. Let's go for a walk. Hey! Uh, where are you going? Did something happen? Just going to get some air. It's too noisy in here. You have fun. We'll be right back. Oh, and there are extra snacks in that box over there if they need replenishing. Bake them all fresh this morning. All right. Sounds great. Mualani. Yeah? <laughs> You've gotten so tall. You know that. Feels like just yesterday you were that rambunctious kid causing trouble all around the hot springs. <laughs> it's like all that time passed in the blink of an eye. Tell me, how are your parents? They're away on business. Seriously, Atea, what's going on? You're acting strange. Traveler, did something happen? Both of you seem a little off today. <sighs> I guess I should explain. I wasn't visiting the hot springs because I was getting better. And that pylon yesterday, I didn't go face it by myself because I was reckless or too anxious to wait for reinforcements. It's because my body isn't going to last much longer. Your friends saved my life in that cave. And because of that, I got to enjoy this celebration with you all. But I'm just a few days shy of the end. The hot springs... I'm just trying to enjoy them for as long as I have left. Oh. Mualani? That better not happen again, whether I'm here to catch you or not. That's what you said back at the artificial spring. I had a bad feeling then, but I didn't want it to be true. I wanted to believe you were actually recovering. <sighs> You want to know something? Recovery, death, to me, the two aren't all that different. Both are worth celebrating. <laughs> You've never been resurrected, so you might not understand. But death and I? We're old pals by now. There's nothing sad about being reunited with an old friend. <sighs> I lived with regret for a long time. Regret that my illness meant I could no longer take to the front lines, especially as our nation slid deeper into crisis. But yesterday, I was finally able to let go of that regret. Not only because I found the strength to fight the abyss, even at the end of my life, 
but because I got to see you in action, Mualani. Seeing you out there, <laughs> it made me realize that I don't need to worry about our tribe or our nation's future. You have the capacity to bring us all together. Even if I was never injured, old age would still take me one day. <sighs> but I've done what I needed to do. The future is in your hands now. Just remember, whether in life or death, I am always with you. I understand. Seems like you've given this a lot of thought, Atea. Thank you for telling me all this. I'll do everything in my power to protect our tribe, our nation, and live up to the example you set for me. Good. Oh, and if any of you have the chance to meet with the Archon, could you give this to her for me? A talisman I've carried with me my whole life. It may seem strange to say while I'm still alive, but just think of it as a relic I'm leaving for her. It's brought me good fortune in battle. Even after I became too sick to fight, I never took it off. Just tell her it embodies fond memories and my strength of will. <laughs> She'll know what I'm trying to say. Don't worry. We'll make sure she gets it. <sighs> all right. That's all I wanted to say. Let's head back to the party. No use spending what little time I have left being sad. Traveler, Atea, Mualani! If you don't hurry up, there won't be any snacks left! Excuse me, what did I say about bathing in the hot springs on a full stomach? Uh, hey, are you listening to me? Life is a journey in which there's no turning back. So forge ahead and don't hold back. <laughs>